of the Pro Road Tour for the MVP Healthcare Rochester Twilight Criterion. A full day of activities with bike rides, food trucks, beer tents, and the professional women and men competing on a one-mile circuit. As the women lined up, it was an international field with many Canadians, more Australians, and the Americans. But the race was not between nations, but between teams as Rock Salt Attack kept sending riders up the road. The first cream was won by Laura Van Gilder, when then Ella Bloor from Rock Salt Attack escaped for three laps. The constant attacks just made the race faster and faster as the group would not let anyone get a lead. In the final, it was Rebecca Wasik from Fearless Femme that took the front throughout the final three corners and sprinted to the win in front of Petta Mullins from Rock Salt Attack and Leah Kirkman from Sunweb. I said to Nat, about 10 laps to go, you sit in on sprint, I tried to cover everything, was up the front, covered all the Rock Salt's moves, felt like we had the race under control, and yeah, the last three or four laps, another lead rider pretty much on the front, so I just had to try and be patient. I didn't really want to look back, obviously the crowd is screaming, but you don't know if they're screaming for you, or the local rider, or an American, or a Canadian. And of course the commentator is like, rock salt, rock salt, and think, oh gosh, they must be coming pretty, pretty fast. Um, so yeah, I was just thrilled to finish it off and um, yeah, get a, get a win for a fearless fan. On the men's side, the temperature was cooler and even with 100 minutes of racing, they wasted no time to test each other. The largest breakaway came midway throughout the race with Thomas Gibbons from Automatic Racing, Connor Solly from ButcherBox, Ryan DeWald from Skyline, and Robert Schroka from First Internet Bank. Despite their strength, the pack only allowed them a maximum of 15 seconds before they were reeled back in. It was in the final laps when the move to win came from Connor Solly, Chris Ernst, William Ellett, and Sean Berger. Then from nowhere, on the last lap, the group of four became five when Robert Schroker bridged to them held off the charging pack to win the 2019 edition of the MVP Rochester Criterium with Sally in second and Cesar Marti in third. Uh, that was pretty special. It was a uh, fun one out here with the crowds going wild. With one to go, I jumped and got a perfect lead out for my two teammates, Paul and Jack. And I, had a, I had the energy to jump across and it was pretty exhilarating running down this uh, last, last stretch, the last lap. It was like, well, I gotta go for it now. So. Yeah, this was definitely all the glitz in the glare. Right through that finish line, and you see all the flashes, and then you're out, and it's like, oh man, this, this is it. This is the movie star feel. This is the closest I'm supposed to have been, I guess. So. And this crowd in Rochester, as good as they get? Yeah, it is. Uh...